everybody. Um, glad to see you today. My name is Joel Yarbrough. I am coming to you from sunny Singapore uh, to invite you to participate in our next great hackathon challenge, how to build the galaxy's best super app and to hack the galaxy for viral growth. The challenge is for you to create a super app, uh, either a standalone app that you build from the ground up uh, to build super capabilities into your own existing app, and then, or to build a super feature that you can integrate somewhere else. And I'm going to tell you for the next couple of minutes on the next few slides, uh, what do we mean by a super app and then how you can think about it for a compelling presentation. When we talk about super app, this is a term that became popular in Asia about six years ago, uh, starting with WeChat and Alipay, who built apps for the China mainland market that were so compelling that they kept people inside of their ecosystem. Uh, people started to use the term outside of China, initially Grab and then more overseas. Uh, and what they did was they built uh, applications that had a core feature, a hook, a flywheel like ride sharing uh, or chat or online shopping, and then stacked more and more features on top of them. So number one, you'd never dare delete the app because something was always going to be useful to you. Uh, and number two, you'd keep it uh, open on the deck. You'd use it every day or at least several times a week. Uh, and then downstream, they built in payments so they could monetize different aspects of it, whether through payments or helping you to invest or providing lending to somebody in the ecosystem. So ultimately something that had a lot of commerce capabilities, a lot of built-in payment capabilities to facilitate the commerce, and then a viral hook to keep you moving around the ecosystem continuously. That's what we mean by a super app. You know, what's this do for you? Number one, a super app is something that drives growth, right? It engages more customers. It potentially opens up new customer bases, either directly or through partnerships. It increases daily engagement. Number four is really important. It reduces customer churn and the need to reacquire customers over time. Uh, and then if you do one through four really well, honestly, it can jack up your valuation uh, to, this, to the heavens uh, and help you to attract a lot of investment. So Super App is a proven strategy uh, for building a big viral consumer, primarily ecosystem uh, that's worth a lot of money down the line. So that's why we want you guys to practice this and deliver something amazing on our platform. You know, what's the recipe? Uh, like I said, number one, you want to start with a basic service, a flywheel that has a high frequency of use. You use that to acquire customers and collect more data. You stack in payment capabilities, whether that's a wallet or credit or rewards or all of the above. And then you use that existing flywheel to keep engaging users with new services uh, that you can add on. Uh, Gojek is a very big application in Indonesia and around Southeast Asia. Uh, and one of their VPs said, once you're handling money for a user, you can build a castle on top of that ecosystem. And that's what we're looking for from you is a castle, uh, or if you're going the route of the robot on the left, a really great meal or two. Uh, the flywheel, when we say flywheel, what do we mean? We might mean messaging. We might mean logistics like ride sharing or food. We might need a gaming ecosystem or some other kind of content, but something people are really engaged by, they're gonna wanna open and, and connect with on a daily basis or potentially multiple times a day. Uh, we've seen um, super apps that engage users up to 140 times a month, right? which is pretty amazing, right? four or five times a day. Uh, it can help you to make some serious bank. You can monetize a lot of different ways. You can monetize as a marketplace and earn fees and commissions. You can monetize through credit offered to either the buyers or the sellers. You can monetize through payments uh, or and you know cross-border payments uh, have foreign exchange, which is usually worth a lot of money. Uh, or you could make your money along with the fourth star by scaling up advertising and rewards capabilities that help you uh, charge your merchants or advertisers to interact with your users. So there's a lot of different ways you can make money in a super app strategy. I uh, hate to tell you, since this is a hackathon, nothing is actually new. Uh, the first uh, super app realistically was probably Yahoo. Uh, which was a massive web portal, as you may have heard, displaced by Google with a much simpler non-super app strategy. But Yahoo had virtually everything you could imagine to do in the 90s and the early 2000s before they uh, slowed down a little bit, let's say. Um, and that was an early web-based super app. So you don't have to go invent something no one's ever seen before. You just have to do an amazing job uh, and really understand your users and what your users want to see from you to unlock that viral growth. 
So that's the challenge. Can you go ahead and build the Galaxy's best super app, uh, whether it's a standalone super app, whether it's some amazing capabilities you build into your own existing app, uh, or it's a smaller feature that you think will help drive super app growth for someone else. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're judging on. And we're hoping that you are going to be the, challenge, the champion and build the Galaxy's next base, next, next great super app. So thanks for your time and thanks for your effort over the next few weeks. We're looking forward to seeing the results and see you in space. Thank <laughs> you.